when like somebody's doing the card pack stuff, I don't think that's relevant anymore. Or opening loot boxes, or doing the stuff on stream, or the CS:GO stuff. Don't they draw it out and they hype it up as like the best they can? Isn't that a thing? Should we do the same thing with the the artifact boxes? <laughs> oh, dude, it could be anything. I could literally get a knife from this box. Oh, sick! It's the spoon. It's the legendary rusty spoon. We've never seen that before in our entire life. I can't believe we've seen two of them back to back. A plain old spoon, but it's probably 10 years old. It's not very interesting. Holy shit, I can't believe we got two of them. Chad, this has never happened in this entire, in my entire gaming career. That's crazy. Dude, we got a spoon. Whoa, that's nuts. I can't believe it. Wow, I need to literally walk away for 30 seconds to just get my composure back. I have to like, Calm down, this is crazy. Whoa! Literally the best day of my life. I got a spoon! I have to call my mom! Dude, I got the spoon again! This is insane! The luck is unreal today, I got another spoon! <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god, a spoon again! Dude, this is crazy. The luck is insane. I've never in my life ever gotten two of them. Dude, oh god. Those are the simplistic times on Twitch. Actually insane. I can't believe we've gotten four spoons in one day. What are the odds? Trying to finish the museum? Yeah. Max out on spoons. Dragon lore ancient spoon. Oh, yeah, true. Let's see if we can get another ancient spoon. There's no way the game would give us five spoons in one day. There's no way. There's no possible way we can get five spoons, chat. There's no way. All right, chat. How many spoons can we get? No whammies, no whammies, only spoons. Wow, two pearls? We can make a necklace. Oh, dude, we got the twisted spoon. This is actually the run. I can't believe it. We are literally making off like bandits. We had a total of... There it is! There's the spoon! Dude, this is actually ridiculous. I have never in my life gotten five spoons in one day. Let alone twisty spoon and regular five spoon. Actually insane RNG. You know what would make this uh, more exciting? Is if we did predictions if we did predictions for this in the last 30 crates how many spoons will we get are we gonna get zero spoons I think we need to have a range we've already gotten like seven spoons including the twisting ones two I'll do it all right do a range do like we have 30 crates left and according to the random math numbers in my head, there will be between zero and seven spoons. You said that so seriously that for a minute I thought you were actually like amazed by the spoon. <laughs> yeah, I love I love me some spoons. You know why? Spoons sell for twenty five gold. <laughs> Imagine how many gold pieces I could have after selling all five spoons. Over seven and under seven. All right. What's up, Pickle? How you doing, dude? Yeah, that's fine. Twisty spoons count, by the way. Twisty spoons count. All right, chat. Put them up. Who's going all in on spoons? Best prediction you've ever done. The <laughs> best. Imagine streaming for three years. And, holy shit, you guys are 10,000 in. Whew. Spoons Pog. And the one thing you're known for is not the challenge runs, not the really funny jokes. You're known for spoons. For three years of your life, that is 365 times three days. And, and you're known for, under your wiki article, as the spoon guy. <laughs> you're known... For fucking spoons. Not the not the verb. That's not... I don't even think you can do that. Unless. Alright. Okay, chat. First one's a chicken. Alright, we're getting... 
ripping off the training wheels. I don't know what that is. That's garbage. There's one! We're on the board! Okay, there it is. We have one. That's kind of a spoon if you think about it. All right. We have we have 20 left. Chad, it's not looking good. The believers are going to lose their point. Oh, sick. I find that in my local beach all the time. I love when there's shards of glass. Oh, yes. Another gold thing. Chat, it's statistically looking <laughs> unfavorable right now. It's not looking good, fellas. Chat, it's not looking good. I'm gonna say it, dude. I think you guys are gonna be in for a time. A time where spoons don't reign supreme. Chat, it can still happen. There's 10 left. Anything is possible. The chances of us getting 10 spoons from this are pretty unlikely. It could happen. That is not a spoon. <laughs> The chances of us getting nine spoons from this are super unlikely. Can we do it? All right, chat. There's seven left. The world needs these spoons far more than... There's a spoon drought, and we have to do this for the world. We're not going to eat ramen with forks. We're spoon ramen eaters. So we need to do this. <laughs> okay, Chad, here we go. That's a sword! That's close. That's almost like a spoon. <laughs> Alright. Imagine a world where we only have a single spoon and we have to take turns using it with each other. That's not the world I want to be a part of. We have to break the chains. We can do it. We can get more spoons. No! That's a chest. We don't need a chest. If we had an overabundance of spoons, we could have used the chest. I don't need your garbage chest. I want spoons. Chad, I need help. I eat ramen with my finger like a normal person. You're a sick fuck. <laughs> Chad, we can do this. All right. I think, technically speaking, it's not possible for the believers and doubters to get their spoons. However, can we get one more spoon? Twisted or regular? Can we do... Why are they giving me money? I don't want money. I want a spoon. <laughs> you know what? Bento's right. We need the definition of spoon. What is the definition? An implement consisting... An implement consisting of a small, shallow oval or round bowl on a long handle used for eating, stirring, and serving food. Alright, none of those kind of cover it. Maybe the doll. We have four chances. We can do it. We need to get one more spoon. This is gonna happen. There it is! We got the spoon! Dude, the run is considered a success. We have two spoons! All right. What are the odds that we can get another one? In the three chances that we have, how lucky can we get to get one more spoon? <laughs> Some kind of gnarly old digging tool? That's a just a that's a it's a loose term for big spoon. You, we really like cereal here. All right, chat. We can do it. We can put all our marbles down. And we can get one more spoon. Oh, we did it! We're so good! I cannot believe what would just happen. Unreal. We actually got another one. Alright. There's no chance in hell we could get another one. We literally stretched. In the last two, there's no way we can get one more. I literally didn't expect getting three out of two boxes. There's no chance. I'm doing it, chat. This is for you guys. No! That's kind of a... That's kind of one. What's it going to be? 
what is gonna be in this chest? We already made made off like bandits with our shovel spoon and our regular little spoon. What is it gonna be? I feel like this is gonna be helpful in some way. Pay them out and do a new one. Spoon or new spoon? Okay. You know what I'm gonna do after this? Because you guys are addicted to gambling. I'll do one more gambling. Damn. We came up short. We walked away. I'm gonna do this. We're keeping our spoons. We've been through too much together. Alright, we're gonna give this one more go. Alright, chat. We have 42 chances. What could we possibly get from 42? So... We're going to do one more, because we need to have this kind of hype in our life before we go back to the mundane percentage of perfection, because I don't like being at the mercy of RNG for 1.5. So, I think because you guys like chickens, anything that I think resembles a chicken will put on the tally, okay? And 42 chances, it's either spoon or chicken related. It will guess the number, alright? Do like... We'll do the same thing. I think seven is a pretty good number. What counts as a chicken? See, I feel like I shouldn't define what a chicken is, so that way I can act super surprised when I find one, because I don't want to look at it and take away that bliss for myself, so we're going to go with that. If I deem it chicken enough, then it counts. Seven or more. We're going with seven, and we're going to add chickens to it. Spoons or chickens? No, spoons and chickens. The most lethal combination the world has ever seen. Have you guys ever seen a spoon? Now, have you ever seen a spoon and a chicken combination? Today, you're going to witness history. All right, guys. Chicken spoon solidarity. Get it. Get your votes in. As soon as this starts, we're starting. All right, chat. It's time. Let's go. All right, here we go. Starting off strong. We got a chipped amphora. I don't know what the hell that is, but... Oh wait, it tells me. It's an ancient vessel made by... That's not a chicken or a spoon. <gasps> What's the ruling on the court? If you really think about it... That's not a chicken or a spoon. Does not check out... The spoons. A cowboy boot. Is this the spur thing you're talking about? How does that look like a chicken at all? That doesn't look like a chick... Oh wait, actually... You know, if you get rid of some of the spurs, it looks like a rooster. <laughs> oh, wait. Dude, that actually looks like an egg. That's an egg? It's a chicken? That looks kind of like an egg. Chat, I'm gonna need the power of rat jam. Or cat jam. I need you guys to give me the power of your moves. Show me your moves. Where are the spoons? <laughs> <laughs> Where are the spoon? The spoon! Alright, we got one. We're on the table. We're on the board. We gotta keep our king down there. We did it. We're on. We have the count. We have one. We have 25 chances left. Chat, it's not looking good. We only have one. Spooning around at the speed of sound. I need all the luck we can get. This isn't looking too good. I regret my whole life. No. With the power of spoons and chickens, we can do this. That's not even... <laughs> Easy, dude. On the board with two. Chat. I think we have to count it. These keep... Oh, every time I look, they look like eggs. They look like eggs. Do you see the gray things counted as eggs? They... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. These count. I'm not sure about the pearls. That one's gonna take some convincing. It's perfectly circular. I'm not sure about that. It's spherical. The spur is a chicken? I mean, actually, I really can tell. That does look like a chicken. Like, I can re like, look, there's the eye, that's the beak, that's the little mouth, dangly red thing, that's a horn. I mean, that looks like a chicken to me. That's it. That's it! We got it! We're at five! Two left! We have five chances! We have, in our arsenal, 
five chicken slash spoon utensils. Count half of the gray thing, because eggs sometimes have baby chickens. No. The spurs totally count. I mean, I really can't unsee it now, but I feel like I was told before I opened those. So now I can only see chicken. Another chicken thing! I can't I can't unsee it. It looks like a chicken. <laughs> it looks like a chicken! <laughs> Perfectly round chicken egg. Oh my god, it actually exists. Oh, that's actually... Oh, that's tough. Alright. Last one. This is it. This is the make it or break it. No! We got glass! Chat, we have one more chance at this. We have one more shot. Can we do it? We can do it. I believe. Fucking no! <laughs> no! I tried my best, chat. I tried my best. All right. Now we go to the ruling on the field. Are these chicken related in any way, shape, or form? Pearls are from the sea. It does remind me of eggs because it's white and circular. Do I think this is chicken related? I feel like the answer is no. And I'm not gonna look at chat because you guys will change my mind. Pearls are not chicken related. Denied. And that leaves the one contention on the field. The thing that can propel you guys to seven spoons and or chickens is the spur chicken or spoon? Is this Rusty Spur, a chicken or a spoon? Chat, I need you to help me out. Make your case. Hold it, I've got evidence. Check the M's. All right. I have to check the M's. This is a very pertaining case. Vento, what, what the hell did you send me? This looks like oatmeal or hash brown. <laughs> what is this? At least put a smiley face on it. What the hell is that? Is it a chicken nugget? <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, chat. I have an idea. I need one person to represent. This is going to be really hard because I don't know how you're going to do this, but I need one person from chat on both sides of the aisle to make a compelling case. Who's your guys' speaker? Who's your guys' I don't know what is the, is a constituent. Who's your guys's leader for your constituents? Mock. Okay, so Mock is pro or against. Mock didn't even vote. That's perfect. That means that Mock has the perfect, neutral, non-biased opinion. That's good. No, I'm neutral. Did you vote? You voted. You're not neutral. You have bias. Spurs are chickens made of spoons. <laughs> okay. The quote to beat is Spurs are chickens made of spoons. We need now a representative against Mock's statement. Who is going to make a case that the rusty spur that heavily looks like a rooster with a horn, AKA a chicken, to make a point. I'll represent, okay, Cerulean has a bias towards red, let that go on the record. Can we vote Mock again? No. Mock is representing team yes. Cerulean is representing team no. I am the judge, I will not be swayed I already have a slight bias, but we're not going to worry about that. Spurs go on boots, and boots are made of leather. Also, this spur has one peg bent, and therefore cannot be considered a part of chicken anatomy. 
All right, so the argument here is that spurs go on boots and they're made of leather. Objection. Okay, Asuna, you have the floor. What what objections are you making here? I mean, those are some pretty valid points. The only thing that I feel like there's some contradiction there is that chickens have feet. And if you really wanted to put boots on chickens, you could do it. The leather part, that one's concrete. I'm pretty sure feather is not equal to leather. Spurs go on roosters, which are chickens. Literally, roosters have spurs. Okay, Cerulean, I need you to counter. That's a pretty compelling argument. Is this Ace Attorney now? Sure. I've never played that game. That's what they kick you with. Wait, can I object? <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a rooster wearing spurs and or cowboy boots? How many of you guys can say you've seen one? But you would have to put the boot on the chicken, so you're changing the chicken. Hmm. I need you to elaborate just a tiny bit more. Chicken spurs cannot rust as they are organic. Tom, that is a, that's a compelling point. You're telling me that rusty spurs are not associated with roosters at all because they are rusty. That's a pretty interesting point. What about Robot Chicken, the hit series? Elaborate, Vento. <laughs> All right, chat. We got some compelling. We got some pretty compelling evidence here. I have to show it to the to the to the courtroom. This is. I just got this in. We have indeed all seen a chicken <laughs> wearing wearing cowboy boots. Let it be known to the court that this has happened. And I feel like this is this is pretty pro team yes. Unless team no has some counter arguments, I think that this is probably <laughs> This is probably looking pretty good for team yes. <laughs> Unless somebody has anything to say against this, I think team yes is walking away in style with this one. The chicken was manipulated, can't manipulate evidence. Overruled. For this is funny and I allow it. Cerulean and Team No, I'm gonna need you guys to get some evidence. Otherwise, that this sheriff chicken walks away serving justice. <laughs> the chicken is a fucking gun. <laughs> it's a gun. What does it shoot? Bullets of justice. It's indeed Photoshop. We don't need to... I I mean, Team Nay isn't giving me a lot to go on. Right now, it's looking like the Rusty Spur is becoming... is becoming part of the Chicken Spoon territory. Hold up, I got evidence. All right, let's see it. Well, let's see this evidence. Let's see this glorious evidence. Wait, Vento's got something compelling, maybe? According to McDonald's, the nuggets come in four shapes. The bell, the bow tie, the ball, and the boot. Chicken. <laughs> Chicken come in boots. Boots have spurs. Damn, that's pretty compelling. Man, Team Yes is like tearing you guys apart right now. Wait, we have some counter arguments right now. This is pretty compelling stuff, chat. This is actually insanely compelling. This just in, we've got word that not only was the Photoshop real, but the chicken on the right is organic, where the chicken on the left is Photoshopped. And you know what? I think I can see this. As much as I want the left one to be real, I am actually inclined to believe that the chicken on the right is legit. And that chicken has a thick tail thing. But notice the feet, there is no boots. That is almost case closed. I'm on team no again. We're moving it back over. Look at that. Look at that majestic chicken. Unless team yes has any more compelling arguments, I actually am on team no. I think that the spoons and chickens have lost. 
I sent evidence in the Discord. Oh my god, this is getting too wild for me. One second, I need to, I need to compose myself. Okay, I'm back from a judge's, uh, a judge's stretch. Let's take a look. What do we got going on here? All right. Jesus Christ, Vento. In light of all this evidence, I'm reaching a verdict. Please check DMs. Leg spur protection. Oh my God. This goes way deeper than I thought. Sweet Jesus. Chat, we have evidence that chickens need protection from their spurs because they are legit. This is just a nice wholesome little picture that we'll keep over here. Chad, this is a lot of evidence for Team Yes. This is a lot of evidence for Team Yes. This is undoctored, all right? On the right-hand side, this is undoctored. Whereas this on the left is a little doctored, but it looks really funny and he's got a gun. This one's just a nice little touch, but this is real as well. Suggesting spurs are real, therefore, rusty spurs are back on the right-hand side. I'm leaning towards the left again. <laughs> what the fuck? Chad, is this real? Is this real, Chad? Is this actually real? That's so real. Very real. God, I hope so. All right, Chad. Is a chicken, or I mean, is a rusty spur considered a chicken? and or spoon. That is the debate we're having right now. Clearly, we see that we have an undoctored, legit picture on the right with a hen in her natural thick habitat wearing nothing and no spurs, suggesting that a rusty spur cannot be a part of the chicken slash spoon genus. Whereas on the left-hand side, we have a chicken, Sheriff, with a gun. Clearly unphotoshopped. This is evidence one. Dressed in cowboy boots. But there doesn't seem to be spurs on it. It's just a really cool picture, so I want to leave it up. And then we have leg spur protection. Which, if you look at it carefully, suggests that roosters have spurs. And this one, I feel like is probably not real. And there are actually no spurs on the back here. Like, let's enhance. We'll enhance on this picture. Okay, we'll enhance on all of them. We're enhancing. You can see that there's no spurs here. None at all. As mentioned before, chicken spurs do not rust. That is true. That is team yes evidence right there. That's true. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fellas? You guys came into an interesting stream. <laughs> okay, let's ask the Raiders. I, uh, I don't really know how to describe this particular situation. We're in a bit of a dilemma. It's a chicken piece. Rusty Spurs is metal. <laughs> All right. I need your guys' help. We have deliberated, actually this is really hard to explain, but it comes down to this. The question that I'm asking everybody, is a rusty spur a part of the spoon slash chicken genus? This looks like a chicken egg, therefore it's a part of the chicken family. This looks like a rooster, kind of. So we're asking everybody, based off of these pictures, whether a rusty spur is a part of the chicken category. Okay, just for mock's sake, I'll throw this in there. There you go. This has no relevance other than it's a chicken riding a horse, therefore suggesting that chickens have domesticated horses and they are a threat. I think that the best picture wins, and the best picture is clearly this this picture right here and this was for team yes 
The spur is a part of the chicken and the rusty spur is rusty and the metal like the spoon, so yes. Ooh, that's compelling actually. That's actually really compelling. That's that's that actually just made the case. For Team Yes. I think Team Yes wins because Kate said that. Good job, chat. We did it. We beat the game. That took way too much time, way too much energy. Give the Yayers their points. I am swayed.